It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads, maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1968, recorded Thursday, December 30th, 2023. Foaming at the mouth. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Diggy D gives his kid camera a second chance. Also a way to brush all of your teeth at once. And I have the very last of the New Year's resolution crappy corner. All coming up next on The Giz Whiz. It's the same with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs growing blue and yellow. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, side hustle biologist, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you, you've been the one that's been traveling. <laughs> I have been. Holy yes. moly. In between last show and this show, in fact, right after last show, I got in a car and drove to Texas uh, with the dogs and uh, had a wonderful Christmas with my immediate and extended family. Um, our Christmas traditions, just to do the minimum of Christmas, takes three days. <laughs> the absolute minimum Christmas expectation is three days of events. Um, we extended it a bit to accommodate everyone's schedule, so it was about a five-day event Oh uh, for Christmas goodness. this year, and I appreciate the last minute change because I, my mother even pointed out, she's like, how are you going to get back in time to record the guest? <laughs> I was like, you know, you are right. I, I thought I'd be able to just teleport home, and I don't know how I thought that, but I need time to drive home. So uh, oh, yeah, we no, did a last minute was, reschedule. Uh, no problem. I got to talk to them, uh, <laughs> and they sent me uh, 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 Oh, a gift! A gift. They sent me fudge, but oh, then yes. they said we found these uh, 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 railroad train socks. Oh, that's great. That's, that's very cute, good. I yeah. dream and train. I'm glad you didn't open that too much more because I, the, I saw the full gift. You should look underneath the I dream and train <laughs> sock. Oh, my God. It's a thousand Because that's the punchline. <laughs> There's a punchline there. Yeah. Oh, there is? Oh. Yes. I dream I'm a train. Wait a minute. Is it on the other sock? Wait a yeah, minute. Yeah, I think hey. it might be on the other sock. This is so funny that this is happening a lot. Oh, oh, okay. I don't snore. I don't snore. I dream in train. Ah! You get it? <laughs> oh, I get it now. Honestly, the I dream dream in train was probably it just that's all it needed. Yeah. Was, I don't count sheep, I count trains. I, I, yeah, I, I do. I the, dream in trains. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's great. Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, for me, it was a wonderful Christmas. Uh, oh, great Christmas. Great. And, How long is that trip? It's about two days of driving. Oh my God. Uh, you know, obviously it depends on how much you want to sit in the car, but uh, my threshold for this trip was about nine hours. So, nine hours, and then I'd be around Biloxi. Uh, and then I took another nine hours to get down to Austin or get over to Austin. So, um, oh and that's with supercharging and and everything. Oh and yes, yes. It works do great they, with the dogs. Do they have tells with car charging. They do. Some some of them do. Um, and there there used to be. I haven't looked at it in a while, but there used to be a map that I think Tesla provided that was like, here are some destination chargers at hotels. The destination chargers are a lot slower than the superchargers, but the idea is you're staying there overnight. So, yeah. um, so it, it's pretty easy. And most hotels are also very good about advertising that they have um, those type of chargers. This trip with the dogs, I was more worried about uh, getting a pet-friendly hotel than a charging oh, yeah, hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially with the supercharging network, I mean, I would pass... Like, it used to be, it was every charger was a hop. Like, it was like one charger, and they strategically placed the next charger on the interstate 
to be almost exactly where I needed to be. But now there are so many superchargers that I'll pass one or two on oh. my drive. And um, before I like need to stop for like maybe it'll be the third or fourth one on the on the interstate, um, and so it brings the anxiety of finding a charger or you know getting to the hotel because the the battery will degrade a tiny bit overnight. So like getting to the hotel with twenty percent, but because it might be cold and it degrades, leaving the hotel with only ten percent battery, and then I don't have enough to get to the next supercharger. Oh yeah, um, that's the fear, but. Because there's so many, it's pretty easy to say, okay, I'm going to choose the supercharger that's the next closest to the hotel, charge up to 70%, and then I'll park, and the next morning I have plenty of charge. It makes it pretty easy to plan. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Which is great. So, so yeah. Did you have any Christmas activities? Boy, any? Uh, you know what? Dennis and I thought we'll go to the uh, New York uh, Museum of natural history and everybody will be in the planetarium and we can go see the ant exhibit. Well, the <laughs> ant exhibit was packed, but it, it's fascinating. I, I shot a little twi uh, 20 second video. These ants carry 100 times their weight. Look how big the leaves are compared to them. Yes. And not only that, I, you know what? I guess I didn't get it. They also carry baby ants on top of the leaf if oh. the baby ant is going someplace. And I'm thinking, wow, I think I work hard. Look at... <laughs> uh, I mean, it's amazing that they, uh, you know, they all got together and read the memo on where to go. Yes, and yeah, <laughs> exactly. And... Uh, they get the little packing slip. Where is this baby going? This baby's going all down to to hole well, fifty eight. Okay, we'll take them down there. Yeah, I should have taken a picture of the whole thing. This is a a, a clear plastic tunnel that goes up and across the top of the museum and down the other side. Wow! And they get leaves from one side of the museum and then they go up this thing and across and they're building nests on the other side. I mean. It, the, the museum does incredible exhibits who worked this out so that the ants actually had a job yeah. and a place to get leaves and a place to go and build with them. It's almost it, a little it, bit yeah. morbid. Is okay, well, we could just give them the leaves, but let's yeah. put them way on the other side of <laughs> Yeah. Well, That's what good. are they, what do you want? The leaves la lounging around all day? And then exactly. Oh, and then what else are they going to do? And they're ants. See, <laughs> they want to see a thousand ants in lounge chairs. I exactly. paid 20 bucks to get in here. And here is a pile of ants. <laughs> there you go. Read the plaque. If you would, that'll help <laughs> us out. Um, no, that's yeah, so a really, really cool exhibit. I, yes. I, that's really, really neat. Um Great. Because I've seen, I have seen ants carrying the leaves like that, but in nature documentaries and things like that. And to see it right there, very cool, very cool. Yeah, it's very neat, really neat. Um, another uh, very cool, speaking of very cool things, yeah, talk about a yes. segue. Um, you guys are absolutely amazing. You guys have been funding the CES oh, fundraiser. Yes. And we were at 42%. I couldn't be happier. Y'all are incredible. Thank you. We've gotten some a few big donations recently. Yes. And it's just absolutely awesome. Every dollar helps with the travel to CES, boarding and um, uh, getting around all the logistics. So any dollar given is appreciated. And so far, we just appreciate everything that's been uh, given so far. So thank you guys. Great. So, it's so, so great. much. And you have, uh, when do you leave? People can still donate. Yeah, I leave. So they pushed CES back. So I'll be leaving. I have my flights booked, but it'll be the second week of January is is when I'm okay. leaving. So we're, we're basically, tomorrow night we're doing a New Year's Eve welcome yes. for East Coast. Yes. We're doing that starting 11.15. And then next Thursday, we'll be back to our normal time and day. And we're doing two shows back to back. The best of and the worst of. Two different shows. And one of those will cover when you're away uh, yes. at CES on the 11th. Yes, yes. So look forward to that. Is that we have 
New Year's Eve show, and then the best of worst of, which we'll be recording on the f- next fourth. Uh, fourth? Is that uh, the right? Uh, what do I? Oh, I already. I I just got a uh, uh, yes. Perfect. January fourth. January fourth, we'll be doing two, two shows episodes. Back to back. Yep. And uh, so everyone, look forward to that. And definitely the New Year's Eve show. It is always so fun. We just hang out. We uh, bring in the new year. And especially if you're here watching the live stream uh, with us now, uh, please, please head on out. I think that this episode, I'm going to try to turn around this episode kind of quick too. So if you're listening to it, um, you also may still have a chance. The night of the 31st going into the 1st. Uh, please join us. Gizwiz.tv. It's always super fun time. Um, and that'll be bringing in the new year on the East Coast. Um, yes. Pretty easy. Well, is there, any, is there another coast? Uh, I mean. Yeah, right. There yeah. is only the Times East Coast. Square. And yeah. we do it live just 40 blocks from Times Square. And it's a good. In at, at, New at, York City. In New in York City. In New York City. It, yeah. Actually, exactly. the tail end of the crowd at Times Square is just on our corner. <laughs> that, that's how popular. Do you think you could come out, walk out your door, and see the crowd from Times Square? Almost, Where almost. <laughs> close enough is what we like to say. It's close exactly. enough to Times Square. Exactly. Um, so that'll be exactly. a ton of fun. A ton of fun. Hope everybody joins us. Uh, with that, I guess let's jump into some gadgets. Okay, here's gadget number one. Recently on a Gizwiz show, Chad said, that's like having a toothbrush that brushes all your teeth at one time. Well, ta-da! Sonic brush, U-shaped brush, <laughs> brushes all your teeth, top and bottom, top and in bottom. 45 seconds, and it's all over the place. Uh, I believe I saw this one first. Uh, and back then it was quote 160 bucks but they were selling it for 80 now it seems to be down to 60 um here's another one for 40 and you'll notice they both looked that they all look the same actually yeah. aliexpress had a ton of them i bought this one oh uh, it's gone up a bit uh, i bought mine about six weeks ago and back then it was about 11 bucks uh and that's what we're going to look at all right, so let's see what mine looks like. And this is it. Looks like an award. Oh. You know it's what? an award I, for you. you. Know about this. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I can hardly believe that out of all the people in the world, the cleanest the gum award. shaped award <laughs> for ultra entertainment. <laughs> Underrated, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yes. um, all right, so it comes on a charging base and <laughs> plug the USB cable into the basement. Uh, I guess I'll go down the cellar. <laughs> uh, I Time to get a basement. Start digging. I mean in the base. I don't have a basement. Uh, oh, the base. And oh, the base. it's pulsating <laughs> or blinking, it's charging, which it is. And when it stops... It'll be fully charged. So we'll wait. And I read a lot of reviews, and it turns out people said it works much better with toothpaste foam. I didn't oh. even know there was such a thing. Me neither. So I also bought tooth toothpaste foam huh. to try this out. So when it's fully charged, I will... <laughs> Save you the grief. We'll, we'll put the foam on it. We'll cut away, and then I can show you. What yeah, it tell looks us like. about your experience. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Instead of it's still so pulsating, but it's been plugged in more than an hour, and it says fully charged in an hour. Uh, so, so I think gonna, I saw something similar to this. Foam. I don't know how. Did foam. you at, at a CES? But it was expensive, oh. and oh, okay. And so yes, I'm really ex- excited to see your. Foam. It seems like the mainstream, <laughs> easy to achieve. I'm take it out of here. Out of the charger. Uh, ah, this uh, foam is so interesting. Isn't it? Both sides I'm interested on in your review on that, too. All right. And don't look at me. <laughs> It'll only be 40 mm-hmm. seconds, folks. 
Okay, so now... Is the blue the light... Also comes with voiceover technology. Oh, look at that. that wow, he's me- Dick, you're a ventriloquist. Whoa! Yes, yes exactly. It lets me talk <laughs> as I crush. It's miraculous. Uh, Do you so think those actually, blue lights, they seem like the uh, IR lights that, like, destroy bacteria? Do you think that's a feature? You know what? I think that's what they're sort of making you think. <laughs> but they're but, just blue lights. I think it's just a blue light. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, and every ad has a different – one ad said, brush all your but teeth. In theory, teeth. here we go. my teeth are clean. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Uh-oh. I think I hit the wrong button. Uh oh. All right. You shouldn't so, have used that dirt toothpaste. That's the <laughs> problem. You should have bought the white toothpaste, not the black toothpaste. Exactly, exactly. Uh, it, my teeth did feel clean, but I could tell from, and I did it several times, I could tell from, I floss with a water pick after I used a toothbrush. Yeah. And I can see. A seed or two things that regular my regular ultrasonic toothbrush would have gotten. Yeah, it took the water pick to to get out. To, and yeah. also the thing is, you you have to work the toothbrush back and forth. Uh, and which my, seems my, awfully similar to just normally brushing. Yes, yes exactly, exactly. <laughs> and that that my particular brush. They're, as I said, they're all over the lot. The opening of this ad says 10 to 12 seconds to brush your teeth. Later on, it says 45 seconds. Um, I timed it several times. This particular brush runs for exactly 38 seconds. So I can brush a teeth in 38 seconds. Uh, I think, I mean, I like the idea that I'm done in 38 seconds. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous when you think you can do the job completely in two minutes. So you're saving like less than a minute and a half. But I'm going to use it from time to time. I'm not going to make it my regular toothbrush. Um And they are everywhere. They're yeah. on Amazon. Here's They're the Amazon. On- it's quite expensive 27 quite expensive for the other options i've already spied um Gosh. with a 10 percent off coupon you gave so us a like temu kind of just a whole bunch yeah, of they, they, yeah temu. and also be careful i saw one that it was a dollar 98 and i thought how could that be and so i put it in my cart and it turned out it was the brush not not, not the motor not yeah. the motor okay yeah. and you are supposed to replace the brush every three months, but they are relatively inexpensive. I think they're about two fifty to three fifty. And of course, Scooter X is coming through with uh, an option. Boop. Oh boy, he got a hand. Now this is the this is the ninety nine cent one, but this is what he was saying is seven fifty six with free shipping. Seven dollars and fifty six. Wow. With a pink toothbrush. That's pretty good. Yeah, that looks like the one. It looks like it's similar, maybe without the light. Yeah, you know, I don't. Click this and see if see if we gain any information from their little video here. Oh, look, they use the phone too. Using phone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's just hanging out. She's doing it wrong. She is doing it wrong. (laughs) <laughs> no, lady, it doesn't clean anything that way. It's just vibrating. It, oh, yeah, those are not veneers for sure. No. no. What is this? A copyrighted song? I want it muted. Oh, well, it's over. I accidentally rolled over. Anyway, uh, some options. Definitely yes. aim for the less expensive one because I don't think it's worth the thirty dollars. Yeah, well, yeah. And there are three brushing modes. They call it comfortable cleaning mode, <laughs> whitening mode, and power brush mode. Okay. Huh. I was using power brush mode, okay. which, is, which is what comes on. You would think that uh, if this worked really well, or it, I'm surprised that there isn't a Sonicare or a Philips or a, any of the, you know, a competitor like this that I have seen. 
in yes, Walmart in the marketplace. Target. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. Right. You're I'm kind of shocked right. that I haven't seen the typical brands go after this. Um, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. That it's, anyway, it's still it's so, still like an online lesser known way to brush all your teeth. It's yeah, just, and, and I do like the foam paste. Oh, that's yeah. what I meant to ask. Yeah, yeah. No, I, do, I like it a lot. I would use it on my regular toothbrush. Interesting. Because the other Is it stuff lighter. Like, does you feel like if you were to squirt it on your regular toothbrush, do you feel like it would be enough? You know what? That's the that's why I think it works better on this because you put six dots of it. Yes. Round. Yes. And then the bro, you, yeah. I I think it's too lightweight for a power brush unless you yeah. kept taking unless every quadrant. You know, you have the, you have the brush that every quadrant it beeps. Yes. Uh, well, I have. I have had an electric one in the past that does yeah. that. Well, Typically, I, I, now I'm. I'm just going old school. Is I'm tired of worrying about the Sonicare. You know, I had a Sonicare for years. Right. You know, it was like a, over a hundred dollars when I bought it. It was so nice. Yeah. And so I just stopped brushing totally. Uh, say it again. You just stop brushing totally. Oh, oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, it's like a waste no. of time, isn't it? <laughs> but it was like I was so nervous about taking it with me and and making sure that it didn't break and then making sure it was charged all, all correctly. And honestly, just switching back to a one dollar, you know, tooth. Oh my soft, gosh! Soft toothbrush. Oh my gosh! I'll just I will spend the two minutes uh, just brushing, and then I can I feel like I can not have to worry about. I don't have to worry if I'm pressing okay. too hard. I just brush my teeth. <laughs> oh okay okay. And, and, you, so and you do your hair at the same time because you just want. Oh, I, I just brush like that. I do that and I put on the makeup and then I shave at the same time. Yeah, I mean, it may take me a bit longer, but um, my dentist hasn't told me that I'm... I, oh, okay, good. <laughs> you know, he's not sitting there going, yeah, you got to do something about these teeth. <laughs> you know, my teeth seem pretty good, so uh, it's been working out, and I don't have to stress about the <laughs> what toothbrush I'm using or if I lose it or... I think that's the you got to learn how to live with ADHD and losing things and yeah oh, okay oh okay oh, having okay. only a few things that I really need to keep track of like a laptop or my phone is probably best as long as we okay. can get that list down um, okay 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 well I'm excited because you were talking about you went and and you gave the kids camcorder a second chance oh uh, yeah so uh, take take a peek and I'll show you what I did okie dokie. That cost ten dollars and didn't work at all. And Chad said, "Oh, I wanted to see what kind of video yeah, a ten dollar cam crummy could it would do, be." Since they said it was ten eighty p. Anyway, I went back on Amazon, and now there was a ten percent off coupon. So the cam quarter was eight dollars and ninety nine cents, right within the Gizwiz budget. And I figured, um, well, maybe Chad can see. What kind of video it takes after all? So this is what. what so this I'm is a doing. brand new one. I when bought I an, that, I think oh, wow. a Wow! Oh, wish nine. Took it out of the box like I'm doing now. I turned it on, and it came on. Okay. Mm. Then it came on because there was a little bit of charge in the battery. I remember what you. Then mean. I fully charged yeah. the battery, turned it on, and the screen lit up, just blank. So I figured, you know what. I'll just buy it in a different color. <laughs> Maybe that'll make it better. Okay, the reviews are very iffy. Got 3.9 out of 5 stars. Well, which a lot is of not people horrendous. loved it. Mm -mm. This is it. I bought green this time. Green for luck. All right, so in reality... Let me just see. It says USB-C. The last one was not USB-C. This one is not USB-C. Oh, it comes with a green bag. Um, all right, so the last time I opened it up, and it did go on. So let us see if that happens again. Uh, uh, um. Oh, it, it doesn't do it automatically. You have to push this. And that, and, that, that would cost an extra oh, few dollars. To ah! Uh, ah! Uh, all okay. right. Okay. Good okay. News. So it does six things. 
You can shoot stills, video, use it as a, a voice recorder, play games. The games is the oh, funniest. I forgot what the other things are. All right, so now, like I did <laughs> playback. Like last week, I will. You know what? I think. You know what? If there's enough battery, I'm just going to try to record with this. I'm not even going to take. It comes with a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card. So I'm assuming that we push this. <laughs> uh oh. Wait a minute. No, oh, that's not right. It's not a touch screen. Oh. So we have to figure out how we get that. Oh, okay. So that is highlighted. And then. Yeah, there was the OK the button. push. Yes, yeah, so is that is going it? to let it. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe you push the top. Uh oh. Uh. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> dun, 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 oh, I see dun, the... Recording. Yes. All right. This is very, is very good. Dot on the oh, screen. So I'll record Dennis recording me. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. And we'll go up to our. Ooh, the uh, galaxy there. light. Ooh. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. All right. the, this uh, is great. This is great. Maybe projector. this is the way to do it. So we'll, yeah, we'll see projector. what the video looks like. All right, so that's my logo. Uh, um, <laughs> I love the burned in time. That is the, that's wrong. Trying to tell you. Yes, I didn't set it. The stars on my ceiling thing, that looks pretty good. Honestly, I'm more impressed and than less impressed. And we'll look around my studio here. For an $8 oh, camera? Oh, mad. Um... A kid mad would love stuff, this. This stuff, would be kid memories stuff. for sure. And yeah. I wonder how close you can come. This is a Mad XL special. <laughs> That's the camera Rider of the month. For UFOs. <laughs> I don't know. My <laughs> Rider of the Month is pictured with a roach. Um, um, um. All right. So I know I'm probably. This is uh, honestly great for eight Maybe it's about their memory yeah, card. So this is I took their memory I card out because I thought, a heck of a suppose lot of there's some kind of something illegal on that memory card, like to infect my computer. Right, so I put virus. my own memory card in, okay? <laughs> that's uh, how they, do you that's think how they make Dennis it so is cheap. shy at all? Possibly. <laughs> Uh, and I will end with my Jack Davis photo. Uh, uh, um. Jack Davis portrait. And my letter. Oh, portrait. My, oh, you know, this is all blown out. Can it, it will it focus on that? My letter from. Oh, the LEDs. <laughs> it doesn't like that at place. all. My letter from George Lucas. I think it's because there's a, uh, LED bulb in there. Yep. That is freaking the camera out. All right, that's it. We'll see what we get. Uh, resolution is 640 by 480. Yeah, Mono, obviously. It. It's an AVI file, 30 frames a second. Yeah, no, no 1080. Like, no, ten, no, no 1080. But I expected it to be uh, what $9. it is. $9. There's only one small problem, and that's... Uh-oh. You cannot... You have to play it through something because, listen, I'm putting a speaker to the mic. I'm recording. You can't I hear see. it, right? Yeah, it's internal speaker is really Terrible. bad. Terrible. Weird. Really Weird. bad. That was the main complaint from people is yeah. that you can't hear it. And you would think for $9 dollars they would have a headphone jack. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but once you get that file off the SD card. Oh, um, yeah. Well, you heard it. You heard yeah. it. Yeah. I, here's what I'm comparing it to in my mind is when I was a kid, um, we had the, gosh, what was it? The Superboy, I think. It was, you could record cassettes. You got a little cassette, it had a little microphone, and you would record. Oh, it a microphone, wasn't it? it? Something like that. I, and yeah. I still have the cassette that I used, and it is so funny to go back and listen um, to what I was recording that day that I was playing around with. You can hear my sister in the background. I'm just making stuff up. It's goofy. Um, 
but that's the same thought process of this, is give this to a kid, see what they record, don't delete any of it, it'll be on the little SD card, and to have, even though it's pretty crummy, crummy quality, the microphone's okay enough, the, yeah. the automatic camera is okay enough, it costs $9, who cares if they destroy it? Who cares what they do to it? Yes. Uh, the Talk Boy, Marsworm is correct. It was called The Talk Boy. It oh. wasn't Home Alone. This is a this uh, has its own sort of uh, lore around it. Is that it was it didn't exist. They made it up for the movie, but when everyone saw it in the movie, they oh. wanted it so bad that they ended up making it, and it was a huge hit. Um, here's uh, the some Google photos of it. This is the one that I had. I had the blue. Oh, one. I had one too. Yeah, yeah, and I love this. And I still have the tape from when I was younger. Uh -huh. um, I digitized it uh, a while back. It's because I just used the headphone out, one of those cables that switches the headphone to a mic and plugged it into a computer and hit record. Um, <clears throat> but this is great. This nine dollar thing as long as it works and as long as it charges <laughs> yeah I, I mean with amazon you get i got my money i i'm getting my money back on the first one which right. was 14 bucks before right. they they dropped it to and is it still the coupon still there yeah, yeah the 10 percent off coupon. it's still there i and, love and that it's 30... recorded dirt digitally already the only mm -hmm. other thing that i could think of is like give a kid an old iphone you know or oh that could be yeah you know but still Nine bucks, you're not gonna, you're not gonna beat that. That's great. No. Um, and I love no, the colors. Little, this little case. Fun. Yeah. <clears throat> I agree with you about the uh, viruses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might, you might want to purchase your own SD card and yeah, just that's, throw that's the SD I card. Yeah. That. <laughs> If you have to connect it to a computer, which you have to if you're going to download the video. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. The, my, it's not, it's not a, I don't think you'd be paranoid if you did that. I would not judge you for being paranoid. Yeah, no, I did do that, like I said. <laughs> for $9, uh, you know, maybe they just want to weigh into my computer. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's a $9 thing, but the ransomware, that's where they get you. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Yeah, they get you. It's like getting you on shipping. You know, they get you that's with right, the ransomware. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's great. I'm glad you gave it a second chance. No, I did. I am too. Um, okay, one more gadget, and it was a what the heck is it for Dennis only, and I ah. explain why that is. Okay. This is a very different kind of what the heck is it, uh, because only Dennis is going to guess. So, Dennis, what is in this box? And I will tell you, have any idea without my giving you a hint? An alligator? A what? <laughs> An alligator. An alligator, no. It's something that broke recently and you said, oh, damn, my thing broke. Wish I had another one. My heart. <laughs> oh. Yes, you guessed it. <laughs> it cuts deep. Amazing. Uh, sound, any other guess? Boy, I can't think of it. It's something you had, you liked, and it broke. Wow. And I can tell you now. I looked up the order and it broke in less than six months. Uh, uh, um, Boy, I'm trying to think. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is a fireplace. One of those miniature fireplaces. Oh, really? Oh, okay. you're kidding. Oh. So, Rachel uh, in chat, Chad and I oh, were Sims, murdering Sims to Rachel. how to pronounce the name yeah, of this. Yes, yeah, Sims to Rachel. Okay. She said it's simply Timu. Mm -hmm. All right. So I thought, well, you know what? It's Instead of spending 35 bucks, let's see if Timu sells that kind of thing. It's a mini fireplace. They do. And also, they are fast. I think Rachel said they were quick. I ordered this December 23rd. It came a little while ago. It's December 29th. It came oh, here yeah. in Compared six to days. Okay. Alibaba. Yeah. So the thing Say is, eight. is it a piece of crap? Or is it going to be like... The fireplaces that we bought on Amazon. Now, we tend to run them 24 hours a day. And so they sort of burn out like in six months. But this one, I believe, was $14. Now I can tell you the picture looks the same. And if you're buying one of these things, be aware that there are cheaper versions 
but the cheaper versions are battery only, okay? And if you leave them on a lot, you can go through with a lot of batteries. The, this one is USB and battery. So that's what you want. Uh, uh, it's a slick looks box good. for only 14 <laughs> box I'm judging it on sealed. the box. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, I sort of don't know quite why they couldn't get the like thing on straight. But. And I hope the glass is not broken, which has been a problem. Um, well, they sell it by making the front plastic, which is actually better. Ah, uh, no cable. They used to, the ones on Amazon were glass, and that, two of them came broken. Oh, look at that! Uh, looks cute. Oh, it looks exactly the same. Yeah, it looks it? adorable. Um, power cable was stuck in the bottom of the frame here. So we don't need to open it. That's a little battery compartment if you're not okay. using the cable. Boy, I think this looks pretty neat. It does. Nicely designed. Uh, I feel like you could put a little Christmas we'll tree on it with some little gifts. You need those little <laughs> converter plugs, which I have. Turning it on. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Does it look as good as the one you had? Yeah, basically. I, what I usually do, I put some real twigs in front so it looks more natural. You put twigs in front? Yeah. You, I, you open the box or you put I it think in? I opened it, I think. I forget how I did it. but Or maybe you can glue them on the front, but it makes it look more natural. But it looks pretty good. Oh, okay. Very good. The fire looks pretty good. Yeah. We couldn't find any mini stockings to hang on this, but <laughs> it's after Christmas anyway. But uh, we're just doing another uh, 10 or 15 seconds here in a dimmer room. So this is what it looks like. Look pretty good? It looks so cozy. Uh, excellent. Okay. This was a good buy from Timu. So, Timu. Uh, Rachel, thank you for recommending them. And if they can shift stuff that fast, that's a, a, a great alternate to AliExpress. And this thing is called the Fireplace Lantern. And it comes in many shapes and sizes. So I'll go to their page in a minute. You can either use it with three AA batteries, which are not included, or the little power cable and run it off USB. Uh, this is the one I bought on Amazon August 15th. So it lasted, what, like less than, about almost six months, I guess. No, it lasted uh, four months, 5% off. Uh, th uh, about a buck sixty off, so like thirty-one bucks, something like that. So this is it on Timu. More than fifty-five thousand reviews, four point seven out of five stars, and nineteen forty-eight, nineteen dollars and forty-eight cents, and free shipping. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Honestly. Yeah. And when I bought it, I looked at it was it was under fifteen dollars when I bought mine. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you had yeah, a good experience new. with the. Yeah. Timu. Yeah, with with shipping and the unit itself is nice, and they they make a bunch of different. <laughs> I don't know. The the designer said, "Oh, you know, what? let's get a shot of the fireplace out in the lawn." <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Doesn't quite make sense. It does make it seem like there's a chance this could be like five feet tall, you know? Like, oh, maybe, maybe this thing. It's hard to maybe. tell perspective. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, this is, well, this is great. They're kind of fun. Mm. And, and uh, they come in many shapes and under 20 bucks. I, I like it a lot. I do. Yeah. <clears throat> and Timu. First yeah. good experience so far. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, especially when you compare the price over at Amazon. Uh, yeah. Ha it was about half the price. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the a difference. One that I bought. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Okay, uh, well, with that, let's move to... Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. It, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie, New Year's resolution gadgets, and what do we want to do for our resolutions? Eat healthy! 
It's time okay, okay. to stop going to restaurants and fast food, and we're gonna eat at home. So I got this onion to eat <laughs> later, I guess. And the problem is when you're at home, making your own things, eating your own uh, ingredients, sometimes you don't need it all. So let's say I added this to my, uh, my dish. I still got this half of an onion. What am I gonna do with it? Introducing the Ferberware uh, uh, fruit and vegetable saver. Look at these. Now, when I originally picked them up, I thought that there was like special technology in them to make sure that they kept things fresher. And that might be the case. But what I'm very confused by is that there is no instructions. So that's them out of the packaging. Um, and I had expected this to kind of like open up and explain a bit more about these savers, but there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing um, on the packaging that, that explains how it works or yes, I, I've gotten the gadget like that. I think it's because the people making the label don't know what it is. I don't think and, they do. And, and <laughs> they figure, oh, just say tomato. Just say it's a saver. So exactly. it's funny because when I was checking out, the person checking me out goes, oh yeah, these are interesting. You know, we use these instead of Ziplocs. And I was like, maybe that is the, the whole point. Um, there's this, uh, the thing that looks like garlic does have some air holes at the bottom that the thing that looks like an onion does not. So maybe oh, okay. there's a little bit of design thought going into there. So I picked up kind of the largest onion that I, uh, this is a white onion, uh, that I could find uh, and to kind of test the size. So it fits, it oh. barely fits. If it was much bigger, it would not. And then the edges, they have like these teeth. So I do have to line up the edges. There you go. And there we go. Now we have a little holder for my onion. I guess this will look kind of adorable sitting in the um, fridge. Now here's the garlic one. The garlic one seems super sized because there is a, not a garlic that I have ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this actually seems it could, you could out, have an onion too big for that. This seems like you would need like five garlics to like f start filling this thing up. It works the same way where you have the teeth that lock in, which I guess kind of help let me see if I, does that, I wonder if it's keyed so that it will always line up because well, so the. Isn't the holes gonna yeah, I guess they, your refrigerator? Is, are the holes gonna what? Let the odor out to. I guess they would, but maybe garlic needs to breathe a bit. Oh, maybe. Maybe? I don't know. So this is kind of annoying. The There are these keys, and I guess it's to make sure that as you snap it close, all the ridges line up. And so if you're off, I just kind of rotated this. It will not, oh, they don't close. all line up oh, anymore. Yeah. So, so you got to find the correct teeth in order. There we go. I got, got it. In order for it to actually line up and close. That's a bit annoying. Um, honestly. So, uh, there you go. That's kind of all they are. Um, I thought when I was buying them that they were going to be like, um, a, a specialty saver container to help these last longer. And it wasn't until I was at the checkout that she was like, oh, you just use these instead of a Ziploc. That I was like, oh, you might be right that all they are are fancy looking containers. Um, it was inexpensive. So this was only $6 for, for both of them. So $3 a container. Um, and I tried looking online to find a few and it was, I could not find exactly uh, what I got. I got this, I picked this up at uh, like a Macy's. Um, and so let me open that. Um, here is something similar that I found, a tomato storage container for 750 and these kind of have different looks to them. You can even get oh, cheese, yeah. cheese storage containers. And then there's a lot of other just kind of storage 
y things, but not exactly this two pack uh, that I got. Um, and so I'm, I am wondering, I kind of was hoping that the, uh, someone in the chat might know the ventilation versus non-ventilation, if there was a reason that, um, <laughs> that there's a reason that it was like that. I like how Steve's just like, I vote that this is, this is a very crappy. Look, crappy says point. garlic needs air. But the onion, yeah, garlic, I guess, needs air to... Also, do I throw this in my fridge? I really wish they had instructions on what to do yeah. with this. But there are none. Um, garlic oh, will garlic mildew. Will mildew. Oh. It'd be refrigerated, yes. Now I just smell garlic. I'm trying to see if this will keep the odor inside. There we go. So there we go. <laughs> um, uh, that, that is the last of the New Year's resolution gadgets. Uh, next month, we're going to be doing our CES gadgets. So uh, there's not gonna be a crappy corner category. We'll pick that back up in February. Uh, but, and, and then of course the next two shows are also our best of and worst of. So you may see a few of the crappy corner gadgets we've <laughs> talked about again. Uh, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Fun. Our email is from Victor in Texas, who says, Hi, guys. I am sending you my first video, and it's a great gadget. Uh, and here is Victor's video. Perfect. Hello, guys. This is the EcoFlow Delta 1000. We got it about a couple of years ago, right after the snowstorm we had here in South Texas, uh, where we ended oh. up with that power for about three to four days. So we I, decided I lived to just that. not go through that experience not again. fun so we ended up getting this unit <clears throat> it uh it allows you to run about 1500 watts at a time about 13 devices uh six uh, ac units and six usb combination uh, and another one i believe is seven usbs and six yeah uh, 66 units and wow. you, it's about 30 pounds, uh, not the lightest, but you're not moving this around that much. We got it mostly because we wanted to make sure that we get the the appliances, especially the refrigerator, uh, protected and plugged in. It also acts like a UPS system. Once you plug in the device, um, you can plug the unit itself to AC power and it keeps charged. And as long as the power goes uh, on, it keeps the, keeps the unit running like a UPS system. So as soon as the power goes off, the refrigerator uh, doesn't know what happened, for example, because the unit kicks in immediately with the power and feeds the unit or whatever's plugged into it. Uh, it saves the unit, uh, especially when you have those uh, outages when the power is going in and out. Uh, that helps uh, tremendously as a protecting uh, device. The other thing here we have is in the display, it shows you the number of hours, the percentage, uh, how much input is going through that at the time. So right now, I just I'm charging this uh, little uh, fan. It shows you it's going three watts, it's going outside, and for that, I can I can run 99 plus hours also. <laughs> and on the other side, you <laughs> plug time. in the units. You just plug in uh, up to six devices. Right wow. now, I just plug in for uh, so you can see it is just a can opener. But as soon as I trigger the can opener. You'll see the power go out, and then it'll show you oh, wow, how many watts yeah. is going. Oh, how interesting! And it'll tell you, it'll tell you how many hours you can run on that power, right? That's uh, great. That. that is great. That's great. So if I only no, run real-time feedback, it's amazing. Uh, can opener, it'll be 13 hours that I can run the unit. But um, most refrigerators uh, do not need that much power to run to as long as you plug them in and keep them cold. So we figure we got about three days at least of this unit will keep that refrigerator running, plus running our electronics charge if we don't keep that much. And maybe if we run an electro blanket or something, it can 
run down an extra day or so, but uh, we shouldn't have that problem. Uh, we recently took it camping, and I bet that's uh, for great. a day and a half that we used it, we hardly use any of the power. It still shows 100%, even though it was mostly for our cell phones and a couple of uh, lights. It wasn't that much. It also <clears throat> can also charge via... Uh, Solar panel, solar panels. We did buy the solar panels, and solar panels will charge this unit in for about five hours if you have uh, full light uh, from the power from the wall or charge rapid charge in an hour up to eighty percent in an hour and a half a hundred percent. Wow! So if you get a good break and you get another hour of power, it'll fully charge the unit, and you have another three days on that. Wow! Uh, you you can run. Uh, uh, ovens and things like that obviously that's going to run the power down significantly um, but mostly mostly we got it for just protection of the refrigerator and be able to run our cell phones lights flashlights recharge everything out on this one so uh, it's about 30 pounds uh, so i think i said that so hopefully that uh, that's not you're not gonna be moving it that much anyway so um thank you keep up the good work thank you that it was a great great video Boy, that that unit is kind of interesting, isn't it? Fascinating, fast. That I love the real time feedback, so you really know. Okay, yeah. this thing. If I want to plug in this light and the radio and start charging my phone, how much? How much is that going to yeah. affect long term? Uh, how much battery I have? See, uh, I thought refrigerators were took a lot of power. I. Yeah, so from what I understand, the compressor will take up a bunch of power as it's running, but because it's typically pretty passive, as because the insulation will just keep it cold. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And other and so they're basically efficient with <laughs> with how much power uh, they draw, which is awesome, especially like. If you have medications that need to be, chilled. yeah, and absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of reasons why you really want that refrigerator to, uh, uh, and then of, of course, um, food, uh, of course. Uh, so, uh, what's the cost? Ranger Rick is uh, honestly okay. Obviously. I have I put their website there. Yeah, they, so they make a ton of these. They make a lot of different sizes, which is like massive. Like that plug there looks like it's a plug that could run my car uh but you know what it, the price uh oh i thought the price was up top i was gonna say how could they be so cheap <laughs> no uh, yeah they're, so they're it, it's it's 900 but you get 350 off yeah Is so so guess? yeah that's the price off so it looks like it's about 3000 for the massive one with multiple solar panels oh, yeah, and things right. like that um this but looks it looks like it looks like a, around the one that we were looking at. I'm not exactly sure the model, but it looks like it could have been the 550, the 900, um, that sort of range. And it uh, that's that's it's expensive. It is, but also, I mean, I, so are anchor batteries. You know, I'm just trying to think of like the anchor battery, the 20,000 milliamp b anchor battery. You know. Um, those are also pretty expensive. They can be in the hundreds. And then this is like the supercharged version of that um, with the capability. And also you could do a web search because I saw these on Newegg once uh -huh. uh, for uh, a, a very good sale price. I forgot which what, what it was. I'm also, uh, plus an extra smart battery? What is that? Oh, you get two. Oh, so it like... Two of them? Less expensive than two, but one of them just doesn't have any interface. It looks like it just connects. Oh, oh, oh I see. So they so plug into one another. They so you daisy chain it. almost. Yeah. That is so crazy. Yeah. yeah, here's one on New Egg for 500 Oh! It look, but, yeah. So anyway, just know what you're getting into. It's not going to be yeah. cheap, but it also... Serves a pretty incredible purpose. <laughs> no, absolutely. The fact that you can leave it plugged into AC and yeah. it turns itself on and off. Yeah. Depending on. Also, I remember looking power. at uninterruptible power supplies. Those things are not cheap either. No. Um, uh, what's the brand? Is it Cyber? I'm looking and, now. Um, um, 
Now what? Oh, exactly. So here we go. Uh, here's a few. Like this cyber power option is two hundred. Yeah, that that's the one I have. Yeah. One hundred and eighty nine bucks. Yeah. And the battery, you need to replace the battery like every three years. The battery's a hundred bucks or something. Right. So that is one thing. Is I wonder if this Delta Power Station is it lithium? Oh, interesting. Which might mean that it's a more expensive battery too. And hopefully longer lasting. Yeah, you know, he said they've had it for a number of years, so maybe not. Uh, da, da, da. Go green without sacrificing speed. It's probably somewhere on here, but I can't skim fast enough. Yeah. Featured in. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, lithium phosphate, I don't know chemistry. <laughs> but I guess it, I, I'm sure, I'm pretty, I feel pretty confident in saying that I bet the battery chemistry is different than those uninterruptible power supplies. And it's, prob my guess is that it's gonna be a higher quality battery chemistry. Oh, okay. Um, more similar to a cell phone battery is my guess. I'm, like I said, just guessing. Yes, do some that, research before you spend a yeah. thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, uh, and I love the fact that you can also put in a solar panel. Like yeah, you can't do that great. on an uninterruptible power supply. So anyway, very, very, very cool gadget. Thank you so much, Victor, for recording that. Uh, it was great, it was perfect. Okay, um, Victor is getting a Mad Magazine, so if you want to supply us with a video, it was great to have somebody who's never sent in a video before. Uh, anything to do with a gadget, okay? Uh, one to three minutes, make sure we can see the gadget and hear you. You can be in it if you want, or like with Victor, you can do voice over. <laughs> And put it up on YouTube. When you upload to YouTube, there's a drop-down menu. You can click unlisted. And that way, only people you send the URL to will be able to have access to your video. Uh, email that to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. And we'll win the current issue of Mad Magazine autographed to you if you live in the U.S. or Canada. If you live elsewhere in the world, send us a video anyway. And I will autograph a 40-year-old Alfred e. Newman photo and send you a high-res image to print out at your end. And from a couple feet away, it looks just like the original. And it'll have your name on it, too. Uh, giz, mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it today. Do it today. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget. Where, wait, the letter, the letter I meant. <laughs> All right, this is from Sid in Niagara Falls, Canada. Um, he was referring to the show where we did this weird bank. And he said, when I was around 10, I remember being mesmerized by the Adams Family Bank my father brought home. I remember playing and staring at it for hours using pennies in those days. Um, I found someone uh, with a video of it on YouTube, and it was indeed from 1964. So this is the video that he found Adam's on the thing bank. Whoa. So when you put in the coin, the bank will rock a little bit, showing activity. Then a hand will come out and should take the coin. Oh, oh, it is rocking. <laughs> <laughs> again, if you look closely, you can see the bank rock back and forth. It's lifting. It's lifting right off the table. <laughs> That snap is very aggressive. It really is. Pretty simple little bank. 
That is awesome. That is so funny. Yeah. Now I found one on eBay that doesn't even work. And I think the guy is asking $50 for it. Whoa. Oh, playing another video in the background. There we go. Here's the, wow. Yeah, the, now, the, you know, it goes through the pictures because that is some inside. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, and he yeah. starts taking it apart. And look oh, at this. Oh, whoa. And the what next picture mechanism. is this bizarre. Look at the batteries and the springs. Whoa. Where do the coins stay? There's so much stuff in oh, there. Oh, you're absolutely right. I don't know where the coins go. Look at this thing. So this looks like this almost like, like it's been on fire or something. Yeah, I know. It's like it's like it, it's rotting before our eyes. Yeah. And then well, I, that, I, that looks I, like a PCB board that's like orange. Yeah. That, whatever that You're is. You're right. Where does the money go? That oh, so is, which, that, which part is batteries? I think this is the battery compartment would be my guess. Yeah. The money comes down there. Where does the money go? Maybe that black box under. Uh, oh, it looks like. See, this seems like the battery compartment. Probably this. Yes, that's probably where the coins come out. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's the battery compartment. Yeah. Man. That is a, that is, and then I saw another one, but it's gone now. Uh, it was $100, but I guess that one worked. <laughs> but, <laughs> but. That is so crazy. Yeah, isn't that bizarre? I love the old gadget. It's very, yeah, very old yeah, gadget. no, it's great. Uh, that's great fun, Sid. Thank you. It was thank fun you, seeing that. You. Yeah. We want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for supporting our show. You guys support every single episode, so thank you so much. If uh, you want to give back to the Gizwiz, you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a big old banner that'll take you to our Patreon page. There's also a tiny little PayPal link. And also, if you want to give, uh, we are still running the CES fundraiser. Uh, so however you support, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your generosity. It's awesome. We really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Gizwiz.tv is where you can watch the show live. Don't forget, tomorrow, New Year's Eve, we will be doing a special live stream just for y'all. Uh, and so please uh, come by, uh, uh, what was it, 11... 11.45. 11.45, come on down, uh, and we'll be bringing in the new year, uh, 11.45 Eastern time. And uh, so we hope to see you there. It's just always a, a, a fun time. I've already bought the decorations, and we're going to break tradition because I bought new decorations. Oh, my gosh. And yes. now we're going to be embarrassed at this I, end. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the bar is set really oh, high. I think okay. I've had the same decorations since 2020. Yeah. Um, maybe 2019. <laughs> There's a possibility. <laughs> um so anyway, it'll be a, a really fun time, so please yeah. come on by. Uh, and then also stop by on the 4th, January 4th, because we'll be recording two uh, episodes that night, Best Of and Worst Of. So uh, please head on over there. Uh, it's, get, head on over to Diggy D's website, gizwiz.biz, where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about. Nice, easy to follow links and uh, some opinions about each of them. So head on over to gizwiz.biz. While you're there, this is the last moment, if you're watching the live stream, to play What the Heck Is It? This is like, we are counting down the hours until you can't get a guess in anymore. So this is the entire gadget, get a guess in, uh, and by the time the, the actual feed sees this it'll be it'll be long gone and we'll have a new gadget there so you can check that out this is what you're playing for this mad magazine your ad here and uh it's a good one honestly so i i'm not to give it away last second but um this is actually a uh, world famous gadget in 
Venezuela because it is the uh, Venezuelan cookie holder. You know, as, uh, wow. they get tired of those cookie crumbs all over their fingers. So they have the world famous in Venezuela, Venezuelan cookie <laughs> holder. Uh, so if you think you know what this is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, that wraps it up for our last show. Of <laughs> We'll see you next year on the Gizwiz. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>